If you are delivering in-person workshops or training or speaking at events or conferences, then you're going to want to watch this video. I'm going to show you now how you can get more email opt-ins from the audience or from the crowd that you are speaking in front of. Simply having a QR code up on your PowerPoint slides that's going to give people the option to then give you their email address. And in this particular example, I am going to say to people, if you want a copy of this slide deck for free, scan this QR code and I will send you a copy of the slides. I'm going to walk you through the process now of how to do this. The reason you're going to want to do this is going to give you the email addresses of the people in the room and all you're having to hand over is the slide deck. So it's going to get that opt-in rate hopefully as high as possible for you. The first thing we need to do, I'm going to now move my face out of the way of this screen <laughs> down here. First thing we want to do is first create the opt-in form that people are going to fill in, that they're going to be sent to after the QR code. Okay, so we're going to do the form first. We're going to click on Websites and Funnels inside Techmatix. Click on Forms. Go to the Form Builder. We build forms in the Builder. Add a form. Start from scratch. And all we want on this form is their first name and their email address. Please limit the amount of barriers that you put up in getting people's contact information. So let's, first of all, um, you're going to open up a, a, a default form builder here. I'm going to remove last name. I'm going to remove phone number. And I'm simply going to have first name and email. And of course, you can edit your privacy policy and terms of use here as well. So I'm going to just say um, something like, I agree to receive communication. Okay, clearly my spelling's amazing today. Okay, I agree to receive communication from Sarah Cordner. Okay, then button, we're gonna to wanna to edit what that looks like. So let's click on button, change that to get the slides for free. And you can change the color. So I might switch that to sort of my branding over here. Now I also wanna put a title on here so that people know exactly what they're signing up for. So in the top left-hand column where you have the add button, we're gonna use this to add a title. So scroll down until you find text, which is down here, drag and drop. Now in the text box, you need to click on it to edit it. Over on the right-hand side in your editor, um, it will be get the, oopsie, get the workshop slides for free. Okay, and then I'm just gonna change the font size. So you know you might wanna make it a bit smaller, I'm make it even smaller than that. Okay, and press save. Now, all you need is the link to this form. So I'm actually gonna give this form a name up here. If you click here, uh, it's gonna be called Get the Workshop Slides. Well, actually, <laughs> get the workshop slides. And I might even also edit this for uh, me, Sarah's uh, 10 ways to automate your business. Okay, press save again. Now we need the link for this form because we need to connect that link to the QR code that we're going to create that's going to go on our slides. So next step is to grab the integrate link, press integrate on the top right, and you're going to copy the form link. Okay, copy form link. Up on a new tab, just go and paste in that form link in a new tab and keep it open in the background for later. Okay, so I've this is now live. I can now share this form anywhere. There's a few other steps we now need to take. So next step is to go into our slides in Canva and create a QR code. So I'm going to jump on into my Canva account right now, create a slide deck in here, and also create a QR code inside that slide deck that we can use. Now I might have a template from before, so I'm just gonna type in workshop, go to my projects, and see if I've got any kind of slide deck that I can reuse. I'm gonna pause this and just find one. Ah, hang on, I've got one right here, ta-da! So I'm just gonna press make a copy, and there's my copy. I'm obviously going to go in and edit all of this content. So let's imagine we've got our final slide. So here we have, have we got any questions. Um, I am going to actually stick this right at the beginning. So I'm going to be able to say to them, hey, if you want to get the slides for this presentation, scan the QR code. All right. So I'm just going to just going to go, where do I want this? Um, I'm going to put it right after me being introduced. So let's go and edit this page. 
So I'm going to move all this text and control all get the um, download the slides. For this workshop. Okay, and now I'm going to add in a QR code. To do that, over in your Canva account here, you're going to click on this thing called apps. If it doesn't show there, you might have to scroll all the way down to the bottom, but somewhere you will have this apps button and we are going to find the QR code. Um, I like dynamic QR codes. They look more pretty and funky. You can add in your own logos and whatnot. So type in, uh, get, click on the dynamic QR codes and you can play around with all of these, but um, I've used that one recently and it worked pretty well. So let's go in here. So you might want to choose what kind of logo you want, what kind of QR code you want. I really like that one at the moment. And then here is where you're going to insert the link that people will be sent to when they scan that QR code. That link, of course, is going to be the link to your form. So go back to that tab, copy the link to your form, go back into your QR code builder in Canva, paste the link to your form, inside that QR code link. Now change the color for your QR. I'm actually, you can actually brand this. So um, I'm gonna find my uh, branding colors right now. One second. I got it. So I'm just gonna paste that in because it's gonna look good on my background here. Um, background color of the QR code. You can choose what you want the background color to be. And then you can upload a logo that sits in the middle of your QR code. So I'm actually gonna upload my Techmatics logo here. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, or I can upload a Sarah Cordner one. I could do that as well. One second, I'm just gonna go find it. Bear with me. Alrighty, it's now added my logo there. And now we can choose kind of how detailed we want the the look of that to be. So you see there if I pick, pick the thicker one, it's nice and thick. And if I click on this one, give it a second, it's made it skinnier. Click on this one, it's a bit more spaced out. I think I like the nice chunky one. I'm a in your face kind of person. You just press add to design. And voila, there is the QR code right there. So now, whilst that's up on my screen, people can scan that, it will take them straight to this form. But now we need to make sure that they're going to get delivered the thing, right? So how do we do that? Glad you asked. We now have to add our slide deck to our media library inside our Techmatics account. And we need to also make sure that um, that happens when they fill this form in automatically. So we're going to create a little automation. First, we want to download our slide deck. So I'm going to pretend that I've made this slide deck everything I want it to be. So let's just press download and download your whole document as a PDF. Um, you might like to flatten it to make it smaller just so that it's easy for people to download um, on, their, um, on their phones, for instance. So that's gonna download. I haven't edited this presentation how I want it to be, but this is just a demo, right? <laughs> so now I'm gonna go back into my Techmatics account. And what we're gonna do is create an automation that will fire off when someone's filled in this form. So over to automated workflows, we're gonna press create a new workflow, top right hand side. We're gonna start a workflow from scratch up here. And now it's gonna take us into our workflow builder. Now the trigger is what fires off this automation. What fires it off? Well, what's firing it off is that form being filled in. So click on trigger type in form and you'll see here this trigger option called form submitted comes up and we're going to um, change this name uh, we're going to call form um, submit oh I could have just gone that form submitted get slides this is a note to yourself um, that you so you know what this is now we now we need to tell the system what form was submitted so you need to press add filters and then drop down the form is, and then what form was it? And I think ours was called slides or something. You can type it in, get the workshop slides, ta-da, save. So now this is going to trigger, and I'm gonna give this a name, and this is gonna be um, uh, get the workshop slides for 10 ways to automate your business. So that's the name of my automation. So when someone fills in this form, then what? Well, I'm going to tag them and I'm going to type in tag, add a tag. And I'm going to put here tag 
um, opted in to get slides. And then we actually need to make the tag. Opted in to get the slides for 10 ways to automate. So basically all a tag is, is it's like a label on the client's record. And when people have these labels on them in your record, you can track their marketing activity, their behavior. You can send emails just to people who have that tag or that label and tagging just gives you loads of amazing ways to segment your lists, your marketing, your messaging later on down the line. So now that we've tagged them, the all important thing is we need to deliver this particular thing, okay? Um, we don't need anything um, major to happen at this stage other than quite simply sending them an email with their download link in it, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is press add and we're gonna send an email. Send email. Now we can either create a very pretty, beautiful looking email in our email builder, which will then allow us to pull that email template design in here, or we can just send a really simple text-based email. Now for a cold opt-in, I'm just gonna go straight for a really simple um, open text-based email. Um, and it's just gonna say hi. And then you see this tag up here, this little label icon, click on that and press contact first name. And what that will do is pre-fill it with that contact's first name. Here is your slide, your copy of the slides from this workshop. Okay, and obviously you might want to put more details in there. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And of course, you might want to put in, here's more of my free stuff, here's my training, book a call with me, here's my services, here's my coaching program, whatever it might be, okay? This is up to you what you put in your email, um, and uh, you can do that however you wish. But I'm going to show you what the next step is, because here is where we're going to stick the clickable link that's going to take them to our thingy. So at the moment, I'm going to press save. Um, I've just pressed duplicate here, so it's opened up a new tab, because now we need to go and upload our slide deck to um, the, our system. Now, by the way, you could just put share your public share link from Canva and put that straight inside your email, okay? So it will just take them to the Canva link of your file. However, I'm actually gonna make this a downloadable PDF inside my Techmatics account. To do that, um, we are going to now go into, I believe it's in websites and funnels, Yes, it is. So inside websites and funnels, click up to media up here. This is our media library. This is where we can upload documents, resources, images, and so on that we can link to. This works exactly like a Google Drive. Okay, now this is again another link that you could put in that delivery email. If your thing is in a Google Drive and you just want it to be in the Google Drive, take your Google Drive link and stick that in there instead because now you've got their email address um, you know, it doesn't really matter where you're sending them to. But I'm going to do it inside Techmatics because we're using Techmatics. So, right, I'm going to press Open Media Library. I'm going to upload a file. What file am I uploading? Well, it's going to be my um, slide deck here. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to upload. And give that a moment. Soon as that's uploaded, just give it a pause. Okay, being far too slow, my patience doesn't work. So yeah. um, as soon as it's uploaded, it will look like any other it is. Now it's uploaded, ta-da. Um, there's your PDF. You're going to right click on that PDF and press get link, right? So now you have a link to this document, this file, this PDF in exactly the same way you would using a Google Drive link, for instance. So go back to our automation here. And all you're gonna do is press down, type in download here or click to download. Okay, click to download, highlight it. I like to then make it bold. You can change the color to blue if you want, but we are basically gonna press add a link and paste in that URL that we've just copied from the media library. And you want this to go to a new window. Okay, so this will literally open up a new window um, if you want them to open a new window. If you want it to open in the same window, change it to the same window. But that's now a clickable link. So we can press save. Um, oh, cannot be empty. So you obviously have to make sure you fill in your from to, sorry, your from email, your from name and the subject line. And ta-da, you now have your delivery of your 
uh, slides from the QR code that came off of your slide deck and you're now collecting email addresses from people in the room as soon as you've pressed this publish button up here. Second you turn that on, this is now active and working. Anyone who fills in this form is gonna be added as a contact in your contact record. They've obviously opted in to receive communication from you by checking that box, which means they can now go into your email welcome sequences, your nurture sequences, and be upsold and nurtured as part of your ongoing marketing system. If you've got any questions at all, drop them in the comments or email support at techmatics.com. Otherwise, happy teching. <laughs>